Kathy, this is Tim Wagner with Pro One. I appreciate you sending the uh, sample of the uh, Gattis Shell Grace. I'm trying to keep this video relatively short, so we'll put uh, a fair amount of product. We'll put a whole bunch of it on that we can. And spin this just a little bit, and we'll get this grease. There we go. So that this is a good grease. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And we'll get ready and we'll do the comparison as per the email in our visit that we'll use the uh, Pro One. But first of all, we cleaned up the race. We have a brand new roller bearing. You know the numbers on the machine. And it's very, very good grease. It's gonna stop right there. You see it's taking just very little pressure and the amp gauge goes over the other end and just a little bit of temperature and you see the heat and the smoke that's coming out of there. So anyway, that's the shell that is grease. I'm going to take just a little bit, just the tip of my pen and I'm going to add a little bit in the worst case scenario always is heat and friction. So listen to the noise. As soon as it touches, and now I can pull the machine up with just a little bit of our grease that's on there, and then I can keep pulling and pulling, and it loves, hear the noise, it loves heat and friction. Look at this red gauge in the end gauge, and this is what I'm saying is that this is huge energy savings and as much as I've got this now well over 200,000 pounds per square inch, I can also take this. So if you're outside in bad weather and rain, of course the steam comes up because it was hot, we're underwater, we're in at 200,000 pounds per square inch, and it's running underwater. And then uh, we can take sand, grit, and gravel, take a massive amount of dirt and throw it in there and then we can pull this thing down and we're going to tear it two up the sand grit and gravel and now I'm still I can pull this down to 200,000 pounds per square inch and look at the ant gauge look at how much load that you've got on this and we've got a real complicated formula here. Just the tip of my pen will run better in this real muddy, horrible environment. I hope you got the idea when I say that we're extreme and exceptional. And if you look at that, that is just pure ugly. I hope this helps in a demonstration. Uh, it's extreme and that's why we call it XPL, Extreme Pressure Lubricant. Take care, Kathy.